Hi guys and welcome back. Oh, my arm looks so weird there. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing uh, what's, okay, what's in my college backpack as a freshman. That's kind of weird for me to say because I don't even feel like I completed high school. My backpack just fell. For those of you that don't know, I am going into my freshman year of college. I do. I have mixed emotions about that. On one side, I'm happy because I'm excited to go back to school. I kind of like school, but at the same time, I don't. And on the other side, I just am not looking forward to the work I'm gonna have. Okay, I'm kind of weird. I like the work, but I don't like the due date with the work. That's probably a better way of explaining it. This year, I am going to be doing all online. I had the option to do in person, but I just prefer to do online because I learn better that way. Also, I don't feel comfortable going in person just because I may not need a backpack every single day but there are going to be times where I'm going to want to go to a cafe or a library to do some studying or do my homework there I feel like I would just go to a different environment all the time so I don't feel burned out of energy if that makes any sense I'm going to be taking five classes no four classes it's going to be intro to computer intro to communication statistics and environmental sustainability None of those really have anything to do with my major. They're just requirements for gen ed, which I'm trying to get out of the way as soon as possible because I'm going to a community college to complete my gen ed. So yeah, that's the deal with how my school year is going to be like this year. Possibly next semester I'm going to take online, I mean, in-person school, in-person classes, but not this one. Not yet, at least. My backpack, I am so excited about this. This is my new backpack for the year. It is the Herschel Classic Backpack, the extra large one in the color Ash Rose. The last two years, of school i have been using the kinkin backpacks the classic sized one but in the beginning of the year i got a macbook and when i was trying to put in my backpack it didn't really fit because it was small i decided to get a bigger one just so i could have more room as well and so it could be more sturdier so the kinkin ones they're cute and they have a bunch of color options but i just feel like they're not that sturdy and they like get worn out pretty quickly i got the harsh one because i heard so many good reviews about it and honestly the material feels amazing and i love it and it's so freaking big look at the just look at it i am very excited about this backpack to say the least let's start with the front pocket i kind of just have a bunch of small stuff thrown in here my glasses yes it's in there without a case but that's because i lost my case i always tend to lose the cases for my glasses i'm getting new ones at the end of the month so that should have a case with it i swear i'm gonna be very careful not to lose that case I have some vaseline because if your lips don't get dried out during the school year then i then you're just blessed honestly my lips get dry every single time every single day every second of the day i i have a charger for my phone and along with that i also have a portable charger which honestly i think i need to get a new one because this one's kind of dying out i've had this for like 10 years no not 10 years i'm literally exaggerating probably five and it's falling out as you probably saw i also have and it's not coming out i also have my macbook charger probably gonna die eventually wherever i am at the moment doing my schoolwork. and the last thing here is my airpods i need to be listening to something or i might have to watch a video for school and i'm not just going to play it out loud like loud in the library or the cafe that i'm going to be at or just at home just because sometimes i'm just outside in the garden i don't want to i know i'm my neighbors that's it for the front pocket don't really have anything else there but something that i do want to say is that this this front pocket is so much bigger compared to the kinkin one just a clarification a little thing i thought i should mention then right over here i have my water bottle i had to take out the grippy thing in the bottom just because it doesn't go inside the backpack without it that explains why it's so gross and icky i've had this for like two years but i love it it is a takea i'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it 32 ounce water bottle i love this it's just so big and i can have so much water in there i drink water like a maniac if i were to have a uh, 16 ounce or a 24 ounce water bottle I feel like it just wouldn't be enough I'd be filling it up over and over and over again and just it never ends now let's get into the main compartment I almost forgot about this but something that I really like about the backpack is that it has this freaking cute pattern inside I don't know if you can see it so look at this you can't tell me this pattern is not cute it's adorable i heard that some people don't like that pattern inside but i personally love it first thing that we have in here is my calculator um this is kind of my worst enemy i hate math and science which is basically most of the classes i'm taking this year so i'm gonna need this whether i want to use it or not 
Yeah, I'm not looking forward to that. Then I have my planner. Okay, this one's falling down. I forgot to take this thingy off, the paper it comes with. This is just the Idlewood Co. for Blue Sky Tag Planning Calendar, which has a weekly and monthly. I just got it from Target, which you would know if you watched my back to school supply shopping video, which I will put in the card up here. I'm not sure which side. So whatever side it is in, it's gonna be up there. It's also gonna be linked down below in case you wanna watch. This planner is just gonna be for school related stuff. So I don't want it to be too cluttered with any other day-to-day -day stuff. I usually use my calendar on my phone or computer, the Apple calendar, for the other stuff that isn't school related. What, what just happened to my language grammar there? Wow, let's ignore that. Like I said, I've already been using it because I've been doing some prep exams for college credit through the summer and yeah, just it's been handy. I don't know what else to say about it. It's pretty cute inside though. It has like, it has a weekly spread and then a monthly spread. This is what it looks like inside and I think it's pretty cute. And I personally love that it's kind of minimalistic inside. It just has this pattern in the top and yeah, that's it for this. Then we have, okay, I keep touching my hair. Then we have my pencil case, which I also got at Target. It is just this cute apricot one. Am I saying that correctly? Apricot? A apricot? How do other, I feel like there's another way to say it. Apricot? Apricot? So inside here, we just have perfume in case I ever stink. Lotion because my skin is as dry as a crocodile. Whiteout because I make plenty of mistakes. Post-it. I don't usually need post-its, but I have been using it recently over the summer when I am reading books. I like handwriting notes. If I take notes, I sometimes forget to add any small information and then there's not enough space. So I just put a post-it note on top of the paper eraser which i have already used and we just have some pens and mechanical pencils i have two different types of pens in here this is the pilot juice in 0.38 and this is the paper mate in black the 0.7 ink joy gel one i love both of these i do prefer the paper mate one though just because it smudges a lot less than the pilot they both have like great inks i don't know why do i sound like i'm trying to promote this pen yeah they're both great uh, this one's just thinner and this one's thicker that's the only reason i I have two in case I need one or the other. Then we have my five subject notebook. I got a five subject just because I don't really think I'm gonna be taking that many notes in order to need one individual subject. Notebooks for each single class. I am just taking four classes, but I'm hoping that this is gonna last like probably the entire year for my other classes as well. If not, I'm just gonna buy more notebooks throughout the year. If you watched my back to school video, you would see that I got a gray one, but then <laughs> Then I came back and I looked at it at home and it was the wide world one, not the college world. And I I hate the wide world. I cannot explain how much I hate it. On top of it just being so wide, I write so small that there's so many spaces in between the lines when I write if it's wide world. Wide world, wide world. So we went back, returned the gray one and got this one that was college world. I was so nervous filming the video in Target, the back to school video, that I didn't even realize it was college world. That's how nervous I was. Yeah, that happened. Then I have this folder, which I got last year, or I think, actually I got this two years ago. It's so in great shape, like literally, I have not had a single dent in this, so I didn't find the need to buy another notebook folder. It also has this binder thingy, and the papers in there are falling out. These are just papers for the CLEP exams that I have been doing in the summer, so I kind of had to flip them because they have some personal information. Here, I forgot to do this, but I'm gonna put graph paper in here just in case if I ever am out in any graph paper, I will have that available for me. I keep touching my hair. I feel like I messed it up already. It's, it was already messed up from the start of this video, so I don't know what I'm saying. Oh, okay. And then the last thing of this is my, I can get it out, my MacBook. Now, my case is kind of beat up. The corners are like cracked and it's just kind of like eventually going to fall apart um, over time, but it's good for now. I have a MacBook. I'm going to be obviously taking my classes on there because they are going to be online, but I'm also going to need a MacBook to take some extra notes that I don't feel like handwriting. Throughout a school year, I switch so many times between taking handwritten notes and online notes. So we'll see how that goes. For some reason, for some subjects, like some classes, I prefer to do online. Others, I do like handwriting. It just depends on the subject and I don't really know until I'm actually taking the course. So that's when this comes in handy. Honestly, my MacBook has everything. I use it every single day, even when I don't have school. So this is my pride and joy. Um, I love it very much. I do have to take better care of it though, because you would know how dirty it gets if you watch my getting my life back together video. Yeah, this poor thing. I'm not gonna put everything back in my backpack because it's all just lying on my floor now. Everyone tells me not to get old. I'm more worried about stunks.
I also forgot to mention in my other pocket I just have hand sanitizer just in case you know with everything going on we can never be too safe that is gonna be it for my what's in my backpack video I need to stop doing hand gestures that's gonna be it for what's in my college backpack video I don't really have that many stuff because obviously I'm doing online school don't really need that many stuff in the in the word online school most of my stuff are online if you have made it this far into the video let me know when your first day of school is and what grade you were going into just because I love knowing weird information like that I don't start school until August 30th so I have three weeks left of summer which I also have mixed feelings about I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, also comment any other back to school video ideas that you guys would like to see just so I can make more content that you guys are interested in yeah I'll see you in the next video I love you guys very much to the moon and back and yeah peace out I say yeah so many times as well um see you in the next video